Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our celebration. We have a, uh, our mass intention is for Teresa Filiatro, Filiatru or Tro, whichever way they answer to both. And uh, that's her mama and Margaret's mother. And uh, tomorrow is your birthday, Teresa Jones. Very good. And uh, we're related by marriage only through their son. And it's not my marriage. <laughs> Be Mary Jane, my mom's sister. And today's my mother's birthday, too, 91. A lot of Father Joe Bachelador born on today, too. It's got a lot of people to think about as we remember uh, our loved ones um, coming before the Lord in this Holy Mass. So we begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus be with you. And with your spirit. We call to mind the mercy of God. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Enlighten, O God, of compassion the hearts of your children, sanctified by penance and in your kindness grant to those you stir to a sense of devotion a gracious hearing when we cry out to you through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not serve my God or worship the golden statue that I set up? Be ready now to fall down and worship the statue I had made whenever you hear the sound of the trumpet, flute, lyre, harp, psaltery, bagpipe, and all the other musical instruments. Otherwise, you shall be instantly cast into the white-hot furnace, and who is the God who can deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered King Nebuchadnezzar, There is no need for us to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If our God, whom we serve, can save us from the white-hot furnace and from your hands, O king, may he save us. But even if he will not, no, O king, that we will not serve your God or worship the golden statue that you set up. King Nebuchadnezzar's face became livid with utter rage against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace to be heated seven times more than usual and had some of the strongest men in his army bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the white-hot furnace. Nebuchadnezzar rose in haste and asked his nobles, Did we not cast three men bound into the fire? Assuredly, O king, they answered. But, he replied, I see four men, unfettered and unhurt, walking in the fire, and the fourth looks like a son of God. Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel to deliver the servants who trusted in him. They obeyed the royal command and yielded their bodies rather than serve or worship any god except their own god. The word of the Lord. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. 
glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How can you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Amen. Amen, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. A slave does not remain in a household forever but a son will always remain. So if the son frees you, then you will be truly free. I know that you are descendants of Abraham, but you are trying to kill me because my word has no room among you. I tell you what I've seen in the father's presence, then do what you have heard from the father. They answered and said to him, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing the works of Abraham. But now you are trying to kill me, a man who has told you the truth that I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You're doing the works of your father. So they said to him, We, are not, we were not born in fornication, we have one Father, God. And Jesus said to them, if, you were, if God were your Father, you would love me. For I came from God and am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. We all have um, challenges in this world uh, because good and evil are always at work. You know, when you feel lazy and you know you're being lazy and you don't want to stop being lazy, that's evil at work in us, right? Now, being tired is not being lazy. It's just being tired. So which is lazy and which is tiredness? The appropriate thing to do when you're tired is rest. That's why we're given sleep. But if we're being lazy, then we need to pray that the Lord will empower us and energize us to do what is needed at that time. Well, we hear about this conflict of good and evil in our gospel reading when Jesus is confronting the Jews who are rejecting his words and his works. Um, and we hear it in Daniel, the prophet Daniel, with uh, Meshach, I have to go, Shadrach, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I almost got it, didn't I? And how Nebuchadnezzar is wanting these Jewish young men to obey his 
command and worship the golden statue, the false god that he has placed before them. And they resist. And uh, it says that he heated the furnace up seven times hotter. Reminds me of my dad. He'd drink a cup of coffee, put it in the microwave, you know, and, uh, and you know, it would be really hot. And he said, oh, he said, that had to, he said, that had to be boiled twice because it couldn't have got that hot the first time. Huh. Might have been heated seven times hotter than, that really has nothing to do with the gospel, by the way. You can just forget that example that I just gave you. It just snuck in there. But you can hear Nebuchadnezzar's anger that he would heat it seven times hotter than normal to make sure these three men are destroyed. And yet God sent one like the Son of God to be with them and spared them this, this martyrdom. That's what we believe too, don't we? That God came to us in his son Jesus and spares us from not only the fire, seven times as hot as it normally is, but indeed from all that is evil and even the darkness of death. We believe that God is greater than evil. And so we want to dedicate ourselves. And so when we feel lazy, if we feel lazy, then we look to God, don't we? To help us. Or if we're resentful, or if we're stingy, or if we're pouting, if we have self, whatever plagues us, you know, because we're not exempt, are we? from the temptations of this world and the challenges of this world. We're not exempt. And if you're not suffering it right now, you will tonight or tomorrow. I guarantee. But you see, we have Christ with us, don't we? We have the one who is victorious. And we have confidence in him. Help us, O oh Lord, in our trials and our tribulations, in our temptations and times of difficulty. We entrust our needs to you as we offer you these, our prayers. That all members of the church may be given the gifts of charity and fortitude in spreading her message of salvation to those still in darkness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. That world leaders may be empowered by the Holy Spirit in serving their people as Christ came to serve, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all suffering from mental illness may feel God's healing love, and may they receive the support and care they need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we in this faith community may grow closer to God every day through prayer and the sacraments, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who have died may join the angels and saints in giving glory to God in heaven, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Mass intentions this morning, Teresa Filiatru and Teresa Jones, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our special parish petitions and intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, give us strength and inspiration and encouragement as we hear the witness of these three young men who were faithful to you and the witness of our Lord Jesus Christ, faithful even unto the cross. We ask this prayer and blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord, be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters in Christ, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Amen. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these sacrificial offerings, that they may profit our conversion and the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, our privilege always to stand before you to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty since by the wondrous power of the cross your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified so Lord with all the angels and saints we too give you thanks and in exultation we acclaim holy 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 Lord God of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory Hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord Heavenly Father, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit remember Lord your church spread throughout the world bring us to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope Shelton our Bishop and all of your people remember our loved ones 
who fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on all of us we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary mother of God with blessed Joseph her spouse with the saints and angels with the saints who pleased you throughout the ages May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command informed by divine teaching we dare to pray our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from the white-hot furnace, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever Lord Jesus Christ you said to your apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever the peace of the risen Christ be with each one of you Let's share his peace now with those around us. Agnes Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, bring us heavenly medicine that they may purge all evil from our hearts and strengthen us with eternal protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Attend, Almighty God, to the prayers of your people, and as you endow them with confidence, show them in your compassion, let them, and let them feel as ever the effects of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you now, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Happy birthday tomorrow.